Welcome back everybody. Today I actually have part two from last Saturday's Amazon Custom Returns Electronics Palette video. So since right now we're all under pretty much a nationwide quarantine, we should be staying inside. Most businesses have closed up, uh, most non-essential businesses. And uh, some of the liquidations are getting very hard to actually purchase now. And I don't plan on leaving my house very much for the foreseeable future. So, like I told you last week, I'm going to have to stretch out some of my liquidations uh, a little bit farther than what I usually do. Uh, just because if I, like this palette had two large boxes on it, if I only have so many liquidations left, and uh, if I blow through them all in the first couple weeks, then I have no content left until this nationwide quarantine uh, the pandemic is over with. So I have to start out some of my liquidations, so please just bear with me during this time. And uh, I think it'll be okay, it'll be fine. You'll just see sometimes two videos in order to get one palette done, or three videos for one palette. You know, I'm just trying to give content every day all throughout this pandemic, so we all have to adjust our businesses um, according to this pandemic. So. Like I said, this is part two from last Saturday's video. So the first box was pretty good, okay? It wasn't that bad. The total MSRP of this entire Amazon Custom Return Liquidation Palette is $3,325. That was the total MSRP, the full Amazon.com price of everything. But the liquidation price was only 345 bucks. So around like 11% or so, liquidation price when I actually had to pay for the entire palette. So after the first box from last week, the total reselling uh, price, the total possibility was $465 after the first box. So it was around $100 more in potential total selling value than what I paid. Of course, after you take off, you know, federal and state taxes and any kind of eBay fees and selling fees and PayPal fees, you might only get about half of that. So, you know, in the grand scheme of things, I'm up maybe potentially like 50 bucks right now. So it doesn't really matter. Everything in this second box is pure profit. Everything. So you ready? Let's get this going. Let's see what goodies are in box number two. So hopefully everybody is staying safe. You're staying inside. Um, hopefully you and your family, your friends are healthy during this, this time. And uh, it'll get better. We just gotta be patient and uh, yeah, it'll get better. So let's see, what do we have? Actually, people really like this the last few times I did it. I will give a overhead view of what I see in the box. So if you do not want any kind of spoilers for what's in the box, you might as well go ahead, skip forward maybe like 20, 30 seconds, okay? So I'm just going to show everybody the, exactly what I am seeing in the top of this box. So I opened it up. This is what I see. There's no packing paper on top. You have a next garage door um, app thing that actually sells pretty decent, phone case, I'm seeing quite a few kind of mystery boxes. This looks like a DVD shipping box. Um, yes, yeah, kind of a gray box here. Oh, Vector. That, that's nice. Uh, looks like we got some records down here. Phone cases. I see the word swing line right there. So that's what I see when I first open up this liquidation box. So it's still pretty much a mystery to me. I don't know what is actually deep down inside this box. So you ready? Let's do this. Okay, so that is the overhead preview. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and pull this first item. This is the Next Garage Smart Garage Controller. You've seen this on this channel before, a few times at least. Um, man, I'm trying to think of what things sell for. So sometimes we will learn together how much things are worth. And this thing, oh, it's like, it's like 40 bucks new. Okay, so use condition. Maybe used condition. It's pretty pretty nice shape. About 25 bucks right there, I bet. Okay, we've got a spec iPhone 10s case. You know, a few bucks on that. A lot of that stuff. Yeah, you, know, you just get a few bucks for it. We have a Kate Spade iPhone 11 Pro Max case. That's pretty nice. It's a black case with uh, 
It is, yeah, it is pretty used though. It's got quite a bit of wear on the edges of this phone case, so yeah, that's going to be a few bucks on that. Here is this mystery box you saw. It is not a DVD. This looked, this looked, looked like a DVD shipper case. That's what it looked like, but it's actually not. It's actually an OtterBox case. Somebody already used the uh, screen protector. It's the Commuter Series OtterBox case. Looks like the person... Looks like it... No, this is not for an iPhone because of where the camera placement is, so... Probably for some kind of Samsung... Uh, Android phone, I guess. I don't even know, but a lot of Otter Otterbox. This is like trash here now. A lot of Otterbox cases. Yeah, you get five, ten bucks for them in this this condition. Um, kind of like this generic packaging. Not super expensive. Man, they they actually used both of the screen protectors it came with. I guess they needed two of their phones with with the free screen protectors or something. Let's see, let's pull some out a little bit better. We have a pile microphone. This is not super expensive. These get liquidated from time to time. Usually what? Every other box, I think. You get one of these and uh, liquidate. Man, why is this box? Oh, somebody put a piece of tape on it. It is not factory sealed. There we go. Fantastic condition still. Good 15 bucks on that. But yeah, this is a, this is a pretty cheap, kind of like a low quality microphone if you want to be, if you want to be a rock star. I got you. Hit me up. Let's see, what is this thing? Oh, it's a dual sided storage case and organizer. It can uh, hold your, hold your iPad. How cool would it be, you open that thing up, there's a big old iPad right there. How cool would that be? Okay, not a whole lot on that. Not super exciting. Then we have another, looks like this is an, another iPad case. It kind of looks like uh, jeans material. Has a little thing in the back of it you can put your canceled paycheck stubs in it, I guess. Let's see, go ahead and pull this thing out. We got a, a vector. Is this the robot thing? Yep, this is the robot thing. So... You'll be getting a lot of these in liquidation right now if you deal in liquidations because they're going to end support with these things later this year. And it has the charging cord. It's got the vector robot. It's got the charging base. It has the like like the smart block it's supposed to come with. So it has all of the items it's supposed to come with. So that is freaking fantastic. Because whenever it's missing stuff, it hurts the value. But fret not. If you get one of these and it's missing pieces, just part it out. I used to part all these out, but my wife, who uh, sells mo most of, or sells online for me now, most of these that she sold, she says, parting them out now. It's for this one since there any support on it that it's not really going for higher prices by parting it out. It's actually about the same price as to sell it all in one 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 piece to a buyer. So, um, like sometimes it pays to part stuff out, like your Ninja Mixer, all those kind of mixer things. You'll get more money if you part them out. Those, Robot, the Vector, the Cosmo, you used to get more to part them out, but not anymore. Times have changed, and uh, so the days of parting those out is over. Just sell it as one shebang. How much are these things going for now? I know we've sold quite a bit, quite a few of these on eBay just recently, I think. Because I, uh, I had that pallet from a few weeks ago. Um, and it had two or three on it. It was the pallet that had like two or three Sony noise-canceling headphones. Some of the Vector robots. And they sold, they not quickly, but they sold within a few weeks. Okay, so this right now is on Amazon on sale. If it'll pull it up. On Amazon for 115 bucks. That is like the going price for this right now on Amazon. So this kind of condition, very lightly used. That's probably gonna still. I bet you about 75 bucks or so. Not bad. Of course, that 75 dollars is before any kind of selling fees, federal taxes, state taxes. 
I know on a couple of bulk.com pallet videos from last week, I broke down every item from sales tax, federal tax, selling fees, all that shebang. I broke down every single item what the true value will be after all fees and taxes and everything. And um, yeah, a lot of people got kind of excited about that because they don't understand why I do it for all these videos. It's because uh, the bulk ones, they uh, don't have the kind of contents that these do. You know, like I say like this, I sell for like five bucks, three bucks. And obviously this wouldn't be sold on eBay. This would be a local sale. I would dump this off, uh, preferably in a, in like a bulk kind of sale to one person, you know, that kind of thing. So it's kind of hard for me to say, you know, this is what it will be because I'll try to dump this, this thing off in like a bulk to one person who buys cell phone cases. But anyway, the whole, whole point of it was the bulk.com liquidations that you recently saw on this channel. That was a different kind of series. That was a series of can you make money selling on eBay, on just eBay, buying from bulk? And from those first two boxes that you've already seen, the answer was no. I got three more to open up still. You'll see them eventually. I'm not too sure when I'm actually, actually got to record them still and open up the boxes and record those. But uh, that series is can you make money on eBay? That's the point of the series, eBay. This is just, I'm just showing you Amazon customer return liquidation mystery boxes, pretty much. I'm just showing you what you can get in these boxes. I'm not breaking it down by taxes and fees and everything, because that's not the that's not the point of this series that I do. This is just, I'm just showing you what's in like Amazon customer return mystery boxes and mystery pallets, you know. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, I just wanted to clarify that. So I'm sure there'll be at least one person that says, how come you don't break down taxes and fees on these like you do the bulk two videos I did that's the reason why because this is just a different style of video I'm just showing you what's in a mystery box you know what I'm saying computer printer paper that's exciting let's see uh, let's see we got some more iPhone cords a lot of iPhone cords I actually had a, a friend recently who bought his first Amazon liquidation pallet electronics and he reached out to me and he, he goes yeah um there's a lot of iPhone cords in uh, liquidations, isn't there? I said, yeah. In Amazon liquidations, you will get a lot of iPhone cords. But most of them are the Amazon Basics branded iPhone cords. They still sell. Just sell them in bulk to one person. And uh, they, they they will sell. But yeah, this is kind of funny. A first-time buyer said, you weren't joking about the amount of iPhone cords in these boxes. Yeah, I'm not joking. You get a lot of iPhone cords. A lot. Let's see, we got another case. This is a small one, probably for an iPad mini. You know, not a whole lot for, for that thing. We have a Amazon computer speakers for desktop. Amazon branded computer speakers. Yeah, these are not expensive at all. They're like $10, I think. I've got those things a few times. Oh, hold on. Somebody cut the cord on these. You see that? They actually took a knife or scissors and they actually cut the cord. These are so cheap that honestly it's not even worth fixing those. Like that's just gonna be straight trash actually because if you cut the cords on those like, like, like that, I mean that just, it's not worth anything. They're, they're not, it's not worth repairing the cord. Really like a $10 set of speakers, it's not worth the time and effort to fix the cord because that thing's like cheap you know swing line stapler electric stapler these work about half the time they burn up but you know if it works that's a good 10 10 bucks right there and then we got a, a bow stitch electric pencil sharpener that one sounds used so let's see where's some of the cool fun stuff in here what's this we have a Dymo Letra tag, label maker. Kind of used. It's in the packaging, but it's in backwards. And uh, yeah, so I had to fix that pack to make it look a lot prettier than that. Another iPad mini case. Another, oh, this one's a Kindle Fire case here. Take it out of the package. Uh, the poly bag. Another bag. Kindle Fire case. Hmm. 
like this one is brand new not been used so a Kindle Fire case Kindle Fire HD case probably a good 15 20 bucks of it kind of kind of awesome poly bag then we have oh we have a uh, a little clamshell plastic protector case to put on like your iPad or iPad, your MacBook Pro. This looks like a 13 inch or looks like made for a 13 inch MacBook Pro. Let's see, we have, oh, we got another, we got a karaoke microphone here. Nifty Kensington Ergo wrist, uh, wrist rest, wrist rest. Still factory seal too. Probably not super expensive though. I mean a, a wrist rest. <laughs> Maybe like five, six bucks on that. Let's see. Where's some of the goodies? Ooh, we got a oh, this thing's still factory sealed. It actually has scissors here that says like cut here, cut here. It has not been cut yet either. This says it's a smart watch for Android and I compatible with iPhone Samsung. The brand is U M I D I G I Umi Diggy. You might have heard of Umi Diggy. Not sure it's picking up the the title on the box. Let me actually look up Umi Diggy. I've never heard of Umi Diggy. Yeah, that might not be honestly the best name for a company, Umi Diggy. Of course, I could be saying it wrong though too. So Umi Diggy smartwatch. Oh, so I'm just looking on eBay or not eBay, Amazon. They still have like $35 new if they're factory sealed. And this box is still factory sealed, so it's like $35 new. So yeah, I probably sell for like 20 bucks. Just just to get rid of it. Thunderbolt cord. Is this a fake one? A lot of the fakes coming out of China for the uh iPhone cords, they're getting them like spot on perfect now. You gotta be extremely careful buying anything that is uh, Apple branded like this, that did not come directly from Apple, an Apple store, apple.com, Best Buy. You gotta be very, very careful because I've been seeing some of the packaging online that people have posted pictures and uh, these things like this are coming in by the pallet, by the thousands in a pallet right now from China. They're coming in, uh, I mean, they're all bootlegs, counterfeit. So I have to check this thing out pretty closely, make sure that thing is an authentic Apple product. It's not a bootleg because their fakes for their cords are spot on. I mean, you've got to really, you've got to like research and make sure it's not a fake. So one port USB wall charger. Let's see, Avery labels. What is this? Mystery box, 3.5 mil, oh, it's a stereo audio cable. That's still factory sealed. It says new pro and it's factory sealed. So sounds like a possibly like a Kindle fire case or something. New pro, probably not super expensive. Okay, here we got a couple of pull out a couple of records. They've been looking at me. We got Tranquility Base Hotel Casino. I have never heard of them, I don't think. Oh, it's Arctic Monkeys. Tran okay, I've heard of Arctic Monkeys. So records always sell for 12 bucks, like plus shipping. Then we got uh, Miles. Miles Davis sketches of, that's actually a really good record right there. I actually wanted to listen to this. I actually might have to keep that. I remember back when I was in college, my freshman year back in the fall of 1998, I took a, like a history of music class and I know we spent quite a bit of time on Miles Davis and his music is it's fantastic. Um, that's actually where I, the history of music class is whenever I became a fan of the blues, when I became a fan of BB King and uh, like Buddy Guy, a lot of the older blues players, some of the jazz players, like the Glenn Miller Orchestra. I mean, that's when they dove in depth to music history and really analyzed genres that I've never really listened to until that time. So 
college you can learn stuff in college, believe it or not. And I learned a little bit of music history and like music theory. And I love the class. It was fantastic. I mean, it branched me out beyond my heavy metal music roots. And that's when I actually became a huge fan of the blues. Uh, then actually soon after that, I actually went and saw B.B. King live because I was like, I want to see this guy perform live. And I'm happy I did. The show was actually... Uh, Buddy Guy opened up for B.B. King. Fantastic show. I mean, that was 20 years ago, but fantastic show. I think I saw him in, I think at the Marat Theater at Indianapolis in the Egyptian Room. I think that's where it was. I think. I think. It might have been somewhere else. I just, it's, been, it's been 20 years at least. Anyway, little blast from my past. We've got uh, Standing Mount for... Stand and outlet mount. Oh, for the Amazon dot. Not, you know, anything special. And I'm running out of room on my desk in front of me. I'm going to... Yeah. Let's see what we got here. We got catchphrase. Oh, it's that family game you can play with family or friends. Catchphrase. No packaging, just the little electronic component. So, you know, not much on that. A few bucks. Not a whole lot. No real big ticket items in this box yet. Uh, nothing really at all big ticket. The first box last week, there was quite a few big ticket items in that first box. Now I'm starting to think, did the first box have all the big ticket stuff? It's actually, most screen protectors are cracked or damaged. That one actually is not damaged. I can still sell that. <laughs> That's exciting. Of course, they did use one of them already though. <laughs> They used one out of the two. They just needed one, so they used one and sent the other one back and got their money back. Let's see. We have a, something purple that's been chewed on. Then we... This looks like a carrying case for like a computer. Kind of like a... Uh, like a... Females had like a clutch that they carry. I think this kind of looks, looks like an oversized clutch. You could like clutch your computer, I think. I'm just guessing on that. That might not be what it's for, but that's what it looks like. Then we have a triangular scale. That's kind of junky. Let's see, is there anything big left in here? We got some records. Actually got a decent stack of records in here. That's that's kind of fun. Oh! Very by the box. I see I actually see some movies. Hold on. I actually see some movies. Oh, is that a Oh, I thought that was the PS4 game, but it's not. But that one is. That one is. Okay, so the, at the bottom of the box, we got some DVDs, some Blu-rays, and then we have a PS4 game. So if you stayed this long into the video, now we're going to finally get to some good stuff, I think. This is the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition PS4. The game's in fantastic shape. It's missing the actual cover. It says this is from 2013, so that is a much older game. So it might not be more like maybe like 10 bucks maybe, but it's not bad. This next one actually, oh no. Okay, this is What We Do in the Shadows, a complete first season. This was a movie that they made a few years back and the movie was fantastic. Then it came out on, I think it's Sci-Fi Channel or something. A complete first season and it was a funny first season I don't think it was as good as the movie but I enjoyed the first season and I actually bought it on digital whenever it came out open it up and this disc is shattered I can't get out there without probably like cutting myself but then here's disc two that one's also cracked oh I just Crack the rest of the way. So, uh, what happened to this disc? It's like, there's like disc two. I mean, obviously that's not fixable. And disc one, this huge chunk is missing out of it. So, man, that stinks the whole thing. That's trash. Oh, then we got Skeletal Fitness. A workout for your bones. In the time right now, during uh, like nationwide quarantine, this might be the saving grace. <laughs> That's what I need right now. Let's see what we got. 
Uh, Sega. Is this a Sega game? It's like an old school Sega game, I think. That's different. Alex Kidd in Miracle World, the Mega Cartridge. It actually is. It's an old Sega game. I've never gone out like a vintage video game from Amazon Liquidation Pallet before. It has the original guide to it. It's kind of used, but yeah, I've never gone out like a vintage game. Because um, on Amazon, third party sellers can sell stuff like this, like old stuff. And uh, sometimes when it gets sent back to Amazon, it gets liquidated. And uh, it ends up in liquidation. But I've never gotten a vintage video game before in a liquidation palette. So I'm actually going to look this thing up. I'm going to look on eBay just because that's a better platform for this kind of an item. So that's actually pretty good. So if, it, if it's complete with the case and the manual... On eBay, I'm seeing like $40 plus shipping. Most of them don't have like the complete. Here's another $40, $35, 38 $68, $58, $40, $60. You can say on average, this a complete one with the case the inner manual and the cartridge, that's like 40 bucks right there. So that's kind of fun. I got out a vintage Sega video game made from, made back in, what year was this? Looks like this was made back in 1986. So this does have a little bit of age to it. I'm talking like a 34 year old video game in an Amazon liquidation palette. So that's kind of fun. Let's see, then we have, oh, okay, we have like little uh, pocket notebooks. A little pocket book notebook to write your thoughts in. I got a couple books for you. Then, oh, here we got just uh, screen protectors in there. Okay, got a few things left, and then we got records. We have a life proof free case for the iPhone XR. Good 15 bucks right there. Oh, it looks like this is replacement watch band for Apple Watch in there. Then we have some kind of fancy AC power adapter. Okay. Then we have anchor. Oh, charge fast cable. Blah. No, it's not exciting. Baby driver, Blu-ray plus digital. I've never seen this. Baby driver. Hopefully the digital code works in it. Sometimes the code do they do work, so actually hopefully code works. Because if the code works, I'll use the code and then I'll I'll sell the uh, Blu-ray. Let's see. Oh, I just got some some of my eye. Like shot up from, from the box. Then we have a small stack of stuff right here. We have a Dymo Letra Tag printer. I know one of those. We have, well, let me take out all the small stuff. Then there, okay, there's just records left in there. Then we have iPhone cord. We've got some, look like some purple, a package of purple pens. Mont Black looks like a replacement ink for a fancy pen. There we go. Trying to find an empty, or empty, I can't even talk. An open, I, oh, a open side. So we got a lacrosse technology replacement um, outdoor remote for your system. That's like 10 bucks on the replacement remote. Hamilton CD, these are all defective. They burnt these with the music of Holland Oats on them. Pretty much every single one burnt from the past, like since before Christmas, they are all defective. 
Then, ooh, an Armani magnetic USB charger. Gotta make sure it's actually authentic, though. Make sure it's not a fake Armani, because it can be a fake one. Yeah, it is just a charger for like an Armani watch. But once again, I gotta make sure it is not is not counterfeit. Then we have Bobby Timmons, the Riverside Albums Collection edit or eight original LPs on four discs. It might a little bit of value to it. Let me actually look this thing up real quick. Some of these box sets can be worth or can cost a little bit more than what you think they actually would. Uh, let's see, Bobby's. Oh, <laughs> it sells new for thirteen dollars. So yeah, it's not. It's just a few bucks. Here we go. Records. Uh, very bottom of the box. These are all twelve bucks a piece. Then of course, plus shipping charges. So this first one is. Who is it? Oh, it's John Lennon and the Plastic Ono Band. John Lennon and the Yoko Ono Band. First one. Next, we have the Marin Something in the Air. Don't know much about that group. It might be awesome, though. Ooh, this looks fancy. Uh, Coldplay. It's like holographic cover to it. Huh, this actually might be a little bit more expensive than just like the $12. Looks like a double LP set for Coldplay. Kind of fancy. Next. Oh, nice. Oh, Alice in Chains MTV Unplugged. Oh, I might have to keep this one. Songs are Nutshell, Brother, No Exclusive, Sludge Factory, Down in a Hole, Angry Chair, Rooster, Got Me Wrong, Frogs Over Now, Killers Me, Wood, Heavens Beside. Yeah, I might have to keep this one. Alice in Chase, MTV Unplugged. Oh, uh, that, that might have to go into my record collection. Might have to. It probably honestly will. Honestly. Then we have the Postal Service Give Up. Um, I don't know. This is some big set. Looks like it's quite a few records. Looks like it's a three record set. The packaging is a little bit damaged on it. I've never heard of the group, the Postal Service. That's a little bit new. I'm sure that's probably gonna be like 20, 25 bucks, I bet. And last rec, nope, nope, hold on. We have Bruce Springsteen. Never really been a Bruce Springsteen fan. Western star, song from the film. 12 bucks, and here we go. Last item, we have Cinderella. Long, cold winter, look at that. Some Cinderella. Cool, I actually might have to keep Cinderella. That's my 80s hair bands. So that's that's what we got. That is the end of this 3000 I think it was $325 Amazon Electronics Customer Service Mystery Palette. And this box, it didn't really have any big home runs in it. All the home runs were in the first box from last week. So if you didn't if you didn't watch last week's video, just look up Saturday of last week, which that would have been Saturday the 20 First or something like that. Yeah. No, 28th. Saturday the 28th was the part one. I'll make sure anyway, leave a drag link down below to part one so you can just go back and watch part one. Part one had some big ticket stuff in it and uh, had a lot less. This had a lot of stuff in this one. This probably had 50 things in it, but it had quite a few things that are literally just a couple dollars each. A lot of this stuff uh, will be sold as like one big bulk uh, sale to other people just to move a lot of this stuff quicker and honestly only a few items in this will actually be going like on ebay online sales very very few items most of this is locally in in-person sales or selling to bulk to one or two people so it'll still be profitable um it's more what i paid that's all that matters of course after you take off federal taxes state taxes ebay fees selling fees any kind of selling fees obviously it the the profit goes down, but uh, yeah, that's what we got. Amazon mystery liquidation palette. So I would be seeing you again all next week with more Amazon liquidations, maybe some more bulk.com unboxings. We'll just see how it goes. So I'll see you next time. Stay safe out there. I'm out. <laughs>